Orophane is one of the most studied anti-inflammatory compounds in nutritional science, and what researchers have uncovered is remarkable for seniors who struggle with chronic, lingering inflammation. Here is what is really going on inside your body when you eat broccoli. The moment sulforaphane is formed, it activates a master pathway called NRF2. Think of NRF2 as your internal command center for cellular protection. When it switches on, dozens of your own antioxidant and detoxification enzymes rise in activity. These are enzymes your body produces on its own, not ones you have to consume from supplements or spices. Sulforaphane is one of the strongest known natural triggers of this system. Curcumin does not activate NRF2 nearly as powerfully or consistently. What the research shows is that sulforaphane reduces inflammatory signaling at nearly every stage of the process. It slows the activation of NF-kappa-B, which is one of the main biological switches responsible for chronic inflammation in aging. When NF-kappa-B stays on, your cells keep producing pro-inflammatory cytokines day after day. When sulforaphane enters the picture, that switch begins to quiet. Several studies have demonstrated lower levels of interleukin-6, tumor necrosis factor alpha, and interleukin-1-beta after sulforaphane exposure. These are the very cytokines that drive joint stiffness, slow healing, metabolic sluggishness, and the overall sense of inflammation many seniors describe. Researchers have also observed another important effect. Sulforaphane helps rebalance immune cells. As adults move into their later years, immune cells tend to become more reactive, over-responding to minor triggers and creating ongoing inflammation. Sulforaphane helps shift immune cells into a more regulated state. It encourages the type of immune activity associated with healing rather than irritation. This is one reason many seniors report not only less joint discomfort, but also clearer thinking and better energy when they regularly eat cruciferous vegetables. One of the most compelling findings involves metabolic inflammation. In studies of older subjects and models with insulin resistance, sulforaphane reduced inflammatory activity inside the liver, which is a major source of whole body inflammation. When the liver becomes stressed, inflammation rises everywhere. By calming inflammation at the liver level, sulforaphane creates a ripple effect that benefits the entire body. This matters for seniors because inflammation does not show up only in one place. It is systemic, and sulforaphane is one of the few natural compounds that addresses inflammation from multiple angles at the same time. It works inside your immune system, your liver, your metabolic tissues, and even your gut. Broccoli is not trendy. It is not exotic. But at the cellular level, it behaves like a powerful anti-inflammatory agent your body already knows how to use. In the next section, we will break down exactly how sulforaphane activates your internal antioxidant defense system and why this becomes increasingly important as you age. Here is what becomes even more fascinating when we look deeper inside the body. Sulforaphane does more than simply reduce inflammatory markers. It activates a built-in system your body relies on for long-term protection. This system is called the NRF2 antioxidant pathway, and it controls how your cells respond to stress, aging, and inflammation. When NRF2 stays low, inflammation rises easily. When NRF2 is activated, your cells become far more resilient. Let me explain this with a simple picture you can visualize. Imagine every cell in your body has a control panel. When oxidative stress or inflammation appears, you want that control panel to turn on the internal repair crew automatically. In younger years, this happens quickly. As you age, that internal crew becomes slower, less organized, and less responsive. Sulforaphane steps in like a supervisor who reactivates the entire repair team. It tells your cells, wake up, strengthen your defenses, and calm the inflammatory response. A recent study published in 2023 highlighted this exact effect. Researchers observed that sulforaphane significantly increased the expression of the body's own antioxidant enzymes, including glutathione-related enzymes and hemioxygenase-1. These enzymes are essential for neutralizing oxidative stress, which is one of the main triggers of chronic inflammation in older adults. The same study found that sulforaphane reduced inflammatory signaling in immune cells, keeping them from becoming overly reactive. 
Another investigation published recently emphasized how sulforaphane influences two major inflammatory switches at once. It boosts NRF2 while lowering NF-kappa-B. This dual action is rare in natural compounds. Most anti-inflammatory foods target just one pathway. Sulforaphane supports both sides of the balance. It lifts your protective system while calming the pro-inflammatory system. What the researchers concluded is important. Sulforaphane does not work like a bandage. It works like a long-term recalibration tool. Adults who consumed cruciferous vegetables regularly showed improved inflammatory balance, better metabolic markers, and lower oxidative stress over time. This aligns perfectly with what clinicians see in practice, especially with seniors who add these foods into weekly routines. This is why broccoli stands out. It is not only a source of antioxidants, it is a trigger for your body to produce its own antioxidants. That distinction is critical. External antioxidants help for a moment. Internal antioxidants work continuously, quietly protecting your tissues, supporting your metabolism, and slowing the inflammatory changes associated with aging. Let me know. I read every single comment and I want to hear your results. And if you care about your health or if you care about someone who's dealing with joint pain, brain fog, or chronic fatigue, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel because I put out videos like this every single week, uh, breaking down the research so you don't have to. To understand why sulforaphane is so uniquely powerful for seniors, we need to look at how chronic inflammation forms in the first place. In your later years, inflammation is rarely caused by one single issue. It is usually a combination of subtle metabolic changes that accumulate over time. Your liver becomes more burdened, your insulin response becomes less efficient, your gut barrier weakens, and your immune system shifts into a more reactive state. These changes create a steady trickle of inflammatory signals that your body struggles to turn off. Here is what is really going on inside your body. When your liver is under metabolic stress, it releases inflammatory cytokines into the bloodstream. When your fat cells hold excess stored energy, they begin producing their own inflammatory molecules. When your gut lining becomes compromised, even slightly immune cells start firing more often. These three sources together create a cycle that keeps inflammation elevated day and night. Let me explain this with a simple analogy. Imagine your body as a neighborhood. The liver is the main electrical station, fat tissue is the apartment complex, and the gut is the front gate. If the electrical station overloads, lights flicker across the entire neighborhood. If the apartment complex becomes crowded, noise increases and everyone becomes stressed. If the front gate stays open, strangers wander in and alarms go off. Each problem alone creates stress, but when all three occur together, the entire neighborhood becomes chaotic. Sulforaphane steps in at every level of this neighborhood. It reduces liver stress by lowering oxidative load, which helps the liver signal less inflammation. It influences fat cells, encouraging them to produce fewer inflammatory molecules. And it supports gut integrity by increasing the body's own antioxidant defenses, which helps your intestinal lining stay stronger and calmer. What the research highlights is that sulforaphane targets these systemic sources of inflammation much more effectively than curcumin. Curcumin mostly works inside immune cells. Sulforaphane works in immune cells, liver cells, endothelial cells, and even metabolic tissues. That is why many seniors notice broader improvements when they add broccoli and other cruciferous vegetables consistently. In practical everyday terms, this means something important. When you quiet inflammation at its sources, everything downstream improves. Seniors often describe better mobility, easier weight management, fewer energy crashes, and clearer mental sharpness. These are not isolated benefits. They are the natural result of reducing the chronic inflammatory load that builds up over years. In the upcoming section, we will look at how to prepare and use broccoli in ways that maximize sulforaphane formation. Small changes in how you chop, chew, and cook this vegetable can dramatically increase its anti-inflammatory potential. Now that we understand how sulforaphane works at a cellular and systemic level, let's focus on how seniors can use it to address metabolic inflammation, which is a major driver of age-related health decline. Metabolic inflammation arises when your body's fat tissue, liver, and even muscle start producing chronic low-level inflammatory signals. This is often linked to insulin resistance, excess weight, or poor diet over decades. Left unchecked, it fuels